The Russian military will have fifth-generation fighters, new intercontinental ballistic missiles, and possibly even the world's first hypersonic missiles. However, the current economic crisis and Western sanctions significantly limit the defense ministry's disposable funds and procurement appetites, experts believe. Russia's current rearmament program, worth 22 trillion rubles, $392 billion, will be completed by 2020, when 70% of weapon systems available to troops will be modern. The military procurement program for the next seven years is due for adoption later this year. A report by the Center for Analysis of Strategies and Technology suggests that the new document will focus on precision weapon systems and nuclear deterrents. The Russian military is pressing for a procurement budget of 30 trillion rubles, $536 billion, for the period, but experts doubt the Kremlin has the ability to allocate such a sum because of the economic crisis. New Aircraft Andrei Frolov, Editor-in-Chief of Export Voraz Hinyai, Arms Export, Magazine, predicts that some of the current program's procurement targets will be included in the plans, particularly the Sukhoi T-55 generation fighter jet. The government did not have the money to procure 50 of these aircraft as envisaged before the current crisis, so the order will be for a smaller number, Frolov notes. Apart from the T-50, the country's frontline aviation will get, Sukhoi, Su-34s and Su-30SMs, the military will also bring in Tupolev F-2 160M2 strategic bombers and 3220M3 long-range bombers upgraded to 222M3M standard. The Defense Ministry is also planning to finance the development of the Tupolev F, Pak DA Next Generation strategic bomber, but deliveries of this type are unlikely to begin until the end of the next decade at the earliest, Frolov says. New Aircraft Andrei Frolov, Editor-in-Chief of Export Voraz Hinyai, Arms Export, Magazine, predicts that some of the current program's procurement targets will be included in the plans, particularly the Sukhoi T-55 generation fighter jet. The government did not have the money to procure 50 of these aircraft as envisaged before the current crisis, so the order will be for a smaller number, Frolov notes. Apart from the T-50, the country's frontline aviation will get, Sukhoi, Su-34s and Su-30SMs, the military will also bring in Tupolev Tu-160 M2 strategic bombers and 3220 M3 long-range bombers upgraded to 222 M3M standard. The Defense Ministry is also planning to finance the development of the Tupolev Pak DA Next Generation strategic bomber, but deliveries of this type are unlikely to begin until the end of the next decade at the earliest, Frolov says.
Naval cuts the crisis will particularly affect the Navy, which will get fewer new warships and submarines. Dmitry Lidovkin, a military analyst with Izvestia, says the military has to prioritize its procurement targets, so no new warships will be introduced in foreseeable future. Most likely, Russia will have to abandon the Project 23560 Litter class destroyer program and postpone until the 2030s construction of the Storm, Project 23000E, aircraft carrier, which is expected to carry around 90 fighters, including the naval version of the fifth-generation fighter, Lidovkin says. He adds that this year the Russian Navy will receive several warships and Project 955 Bari class submarines that have already been built. Hypersonic weapons The defense industry has indirectly confirmed that work is in progress to develop hypersonic missiles, and equipping Russia's forces with such weapons could begin within a few years. A report on the Defense Ministry's website reads that the arms program for 2018-2025 calls for completion of the development, and delivery to troops, of fundamentally new hypersonic weapon systems, intelligent robotic systems, weapons utilizing new physical principles, and a number of next-generation conventional weapon systems and military equipment. During recent tests, Russia's newest Sirkin anti-ship missiles achieved a speed of 5,625 miles per hour, 9,000 kilometers per hour. However, neither TASS news agency, which broke the story, nor the defense ministry has disclosed any details. In fact, there has been no official confirmation of the sensational news. Experts say that if the report is accurate, that Sirkin will become the first missile to have broken the sound barrier. Lidovkin comments that hypersonic technologies are the key issue in the unofficial arms race between Russia and the US. The first country to develop missiles capable of traveling at 8 to 10 times the speed of sound will have a weapon impossible to detect by contemporary radar, Lidovkin explains. Systems capable of intercepting such missiles do not exist, nor are they going to appear anytime soon.